Hey guys, this is Alex with Auto X. Beautiful sunny day here and a beautiful vehicle for you guys to check out today. So what you see here is a 1994 Toyota Morita fire truck. This is built on the Toyota Dyna chassis, the Dyna 250. So it's a two ton truck and it's made as the fire spec from Toyota. And then the fire box is added by Morita, uh, the Japanese company that builds all the fire trucks there. So this has a very heavy duty, single stage, thick red paint job. Original from the factory, so the uh, inside of the doors and all that is it's all red. It's not originally white, like some of the high ace fire trucks you may have seen. This came from Iwade City, which is a city that's just south of Osaka. It lived its whole life there in the fire station where it was regularly bathed, maintained, garaged, and extremely lightly used. Now guys, this has only 6,000 kilometers on it, which is around 3,000 miles original. Everything you see is original. And this also is a four-wheel drive rig with the factory ASIN locking hubs and transfer case. It has factory PTO. It has, it's optioned with the exhaust brake. And as you can see, this came complete with the whole system. Lights, sirens, PA system. It all works and completely functional. So just a tremendously unique rig here. So what I want to do now is just give you a brief walkthrough of the firebox, most of which is in Japanese and we have not yet translated, but this right here is the straw. It's fitted with a filter, so you can put this in a body of water, a lake, a river, a pool, and it will suck the water and use it to supply your pump and your water guns. So you have all of your appropriate and respective gauges here. And all of your levers and attachments to put out fires. At the top there's a small aluminum folding ladder. There's a spotlight. Again, everything works as it should. This was a registered and in-service fire vehicle all the way up until December 2018. So you have seats here. This is for your tow hook from Wakayama Toyota. Purchased new fire spec by Morita. You have your gun handles here. This is an extremely solid rig. Everything from the grab bars to the seats. There's some storage under here. Step up onto the firebox to give you a better look. That says Iwade City. That's the city sign for where this vehicle was in service. This is access to the pump. This whole pump system and firebox is mounted onto the vehicle chassis and frame with a number of U-bolts. It is essentially a bolt-on, bolt-off setup. So if you wanted to take this off and equip this vehicle with a ute flatbed or any kind of aluminum bed or whatever you wanted, it would not be difficult. And that is also something we can help facilitate if you are interested in this vehicle. Just ask us, we're happy to help. But right now we wanna leave this original 
as it came from Toyota, from Morita, from Japan, because it's just a beautiful, one-of-a-kind example. And this has a... It's very rare to find these vehicles coming fully equipped with all of the equipment that functions. So as we're taking a look inside the front cab here, quickly just run through with you. These are the door cards. We have manual rolling windows. Just a robust industrial vehicle setup um, intended for heavy, heavy use, heavy duty use. These are the original all weather Toyota floor mats with the vinyl flooring. A very heavy duty industrial fabric as came on many of these high use, high wear vehicles. Um, this is all in ex excellent condition, just tremendous shape, uh, like it's never been used. So looking up front here, this is your siren system. It has several buttons. I can demonstrate that when we turn the vehicle on. It all functions. It also has PA auxiliary volume, main volume, and this is your auxiliary in where you can even hook up your iPod or your iPhone and play music out the PA system on the roof. Really cool. This is your glove box. These are instructions, maintenance instructions, basically telling you what kind of oil to use and all the different uh, mechanisms. Your PA, built by Osaka Siren. Very, uh, very robust. None of these things feel cheap. They're all really well made. Glove box. We have some manuals here. Parts manual from Morita. A number of other things that will come with the vehicle. So let me go around to the driver's side. Actually, I'll show you the rear first. So it is a double cab. Again, looking in, fantastically clean door cards, windows, grab handles, locks, another grab bar, super solid. So here we have your floor mat, your rear bench seat, rear sliding window. Now this bench seat is pretty cool because it just goes up like this and you have a great deal of storage space. It's basically like having a trunk. You can secure this here with this clip. All right, now let's go around to the other side. Of course, this has the heavy, heavy duty mirror system. Tremendous visibility, you can see everything when you're driving. And none of these black things are faded. It's all factory new, essentially. A 1994 time capsule. So driver door. Looking in, we have the driver's seat, which has a recline and a slide function floor mat this is your oil temperature gauge this is your PTO lever and a bright let's see if we can yep. and let me hop in all right so looking at the cluster 6798 Kilometers original, right from the firehouse. So, this, unlike any other fire truck I've seen from Japan, has working factory AC. Blows cold, and that right there is an incredible feature because you will not find one with AC, or you may, but it's gonna take a while because they just didn't really option many or any of these with AC. I'm not sure why this one came with it, but it's great that it has it. It makes it just a very practical, all-use vehicle. 
all time, all season. Parking brake lever, standard Toyota. This is your tilt lock light. This goes on when you've unlocked the cab tilt to access your engine. This is the four wheel drive push engage button. So you're gonna push this when you wanna go into four wheel drive and lock your hubs. This is a five speed. Now we've driven this on the highway, road tested it a few hundred miles and it's gonna cruise at around 100 to 105 kilometers per hour at around 3000 RPMs. So that's the comfortable cruising speed on the highway, about 65 to 70 maximum. Um, it pulls up hills, lots of torque in this engine and uh, it's actually very comfortable and uh, confidence um, instilling on the highway. You feel very confident driving this vehicle. It's very cool. So right here is your low, high, and neutral transfer case. So what I want to do now is start the engine. Factory original Toyota key. goes. This has an exhaust brake, which basically means the engine will slow you down if you take your foot off the gas or the brake. Um, pretty efficient, reduces brake component wear on these very heavy duty trucks. A lot of big rigs here have them. I'm sure you've all heard the sound of the truck exhaust braking. So I want to demonstrate the air conditioning. You can hear the compressor kick on. Air is blowing cold, which is good because it's pretty hot today. So now I want to demonstrate how the lights work. This will switch on the top light, and then you can operate your siren. This is the bell sound. This is the siren. stops everything and this is your PA system which works like this testing one two three it all works it's fantastic so fun to use in case you guys were wondering is this is America don't worry we got cup holders too AM radio, which I'm sure you can switch out for uh, any uh, head unit of your choice. Ashtray. The cigarette lighter. This truck does run on 24 volt. We'll cut to the engine. As you can see, the engine has two batteries, very heavy duty, 24 volt system. You can run. It's equipped for running all of the machinery It's on this vehicle. So let me step out with the engine running so you can hear that. This is 
is your fuel tank. Locking with the engine key. And your engine is essentially right there. We'll cut to a shot of us showing you the engine. Thank you for checking out this video, guys. We absolutely enjoy working on bringing in these interesting cars, trucks, machines. This is now for sale in Portland, Oregon. So please uh, email us or just reach out if you have any questions. And we'd be happy to uh, give you our two cents. Again, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more cool videos. Thank you.